This week's Epic Epoch update, we have one that's been a long time coming. An article, that is. So the Epic Epoch update is my review of the four articles I've published within the past week. And the one that's been a long time coming is my reply to Zen Garcia on the issue of the serpent seed. The serpent seed of Satan theory, which holds that Eve had sex with Satan, and thus... Satan is the father of Cain, and so Cain's bloodline or seed line literally carries satanic genetics. So, I had posted a little comment to a video of Zen's, and he was nice enough to write back uh, what amounted to, to six pages worth of material, which is very rare. This was on face on YouTube. You know, YouTube generally, it's like uh, Twitter size comments, and most of them not very nice. So I deeply appreciated that. So I wrote back a response that went point by point. Um, and I think this has been a long time coming. I certainly consider the serpent seed of Satan theory a heresy. And I will have various articles coming out on that topic because responding to Zen kind of opened up that little area for me that I hadn't looked too much into before. So I've produced a lot of uh, upcoming articles. It seems to me that serpent seed of Satan theorists uh, like to appeal to things which they consider mysterious. So, For example, they'll say something like, oh, what does eating a forbidden fruit have to do with pain in childbirth? Right? So therefore... Since the Bible's ethic is an eye for an eye, then Eve must have done something which resulted in childbirth. Ergo, sex with the snake. Uh, you know, things like that. Well, this leads them to construct an eisegetical template, an interpretive template, whereby they read the whole rest of the Bible. Now, what they make out of the serpent seed is kind of like, uh, well, whichever group they have a gripe against, they'll claim is the seed of Satan. So it may be the unelect, it may be Catholics, it may be the Jews, you never know. Another article was an ongoing one about uh, abortions arguments, the kind of statements and arguments that are made to support abortion. And in this case, the claim is that pro-life displays are offensive. So we're talking about mostly uh, displays that would, for instance, show photographs of dismembered fetuses, right? Human babies. And I think the bottom line issue to point out here is something to the likes of, well, if you see a display of the Holocaust the concentration camps and the people therein, would you blame the Jews for the photographs? Or would you blame the Nazis who did the things that caused the reality which was then photographed? Right, so in, for, in other words, if you support abortion and you're offended at photographs of dismembered human babies, then maybe you shouldn't support the act which results in dismembered corpses of human babies, right? So, you don't blame the Jews for photographs of the Holocaust. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, the atheist Sam Harris does blame the Jews for the Holocaust. But that's another issue. Now, another article is my ongoing reply to an atheist from the skeptic arena that goes by the name of Neo. And in this case, it's a reply on his claim that the Bible has failed the prophecy, specifically that Abraham was told that his descendants would be as numerous as the stars in the sky, the sands, and the ocean. And so he points out the Jews are uh, pretty much a minority in the world, therefore that prophecy obviously didn't come true. Well... Uh, his premise is inaccurate, his application is inaccurate, his conclusion is inaccurate, and I provide you all the details right in the uh, article. I mean, it's plain as day if you actually read the Bible to actually understand what it's telling you. 
instead of just picking up a few verses here and there whereby to make trouble, then it's really easy to understand. Uh, rather than taking a text out of context to make a pretext for a proof text. And the last article is called Celebrity Worship as Modern Idolatry. And it's just kind of a glance at the whole issue of the celebrity culture that we have. Uh, these supposed stars, you know, these people who are like uh, to be served as being so far up above mere humanity. And some of the strange things related to them. Uh, for example, I put together a list, and I'm sure it's very partial, of award shows that are put on every year. Awards. And I mean, there's one after the other, after the other, after the other. It's like these people just can't get enough of themselves. But really, these are like um, the gods amongst us, right? We, we watch them on TV being celebrated and applauded. And uh, in fact, one reason I knew that this whole Occupy movement stuff was a sham is I never heard of any of them protesting at one of these celebrity award shows, right? I mean, what are they? These are definitely one percenters throwing themselves self-congratulatory parties, arriving in gas-guzzling, heavily carbon-footprinted SUVs, guarded by armed guards and just literally wasting millions upon millions of dollars patting themselves on the back and you know being applauded and celebrated and beloved it's really amazing when you think about it well there it is the epic epoch update the four articles you can read i will post uh, the links in the info section and check them out while you're there uh, if you would subscribe to my examiner site, that would really help me out because you can help financially support me without spending a single penny just by doing that. Okay, thank you.